Here is your latest African news. Central African Republic. Russian mercenaries accused of rights violations in Central African Republic. UN experts reported on serious human rights violations, allegedly committed by Russian security companies, including mass shootings, arbitrary arrests, torture, and attacks on civilian facilities. Moscow officially gives the number of Russian military experts in CAR at 535. But according to press reports, the actual number is much, much higher. The Wagner Group alone, a private security company from Russia employs over 1,000 people in the Central African Republic. Africa wide, is it time for the USA to pay reparations for slavery? The House Judiciary Committee voted on April 14th, 2021 to recommend the creation of a commission to study the possibility of paying reparations to the descendants of enslaved people in the United States. Through slavery, and colonial rule, Africa lost its people, but the continent also lost skilled labor, creativity and innovations. Those benefits were transferred to colonial societies and their recovery remains at stake for Africa and African descended people worldwide. Somalia. Somalia restores diplomatic ties with Kenya. Somalia said on Thursday it was restoring diplomatic relations with neighboring Kenya almost six months after severing those ties, accusing Nairobi of meddling in their politics. Relations between the countries have also been tense over the ownership of potential oil and gas deposits, some of which lie off the coast of Jubaland, one of Somalia's five semi-autonomous states. Deputy Information Minister Abdirahman Yusuf told a news conference in Mogadishu yesterday that diplomatic relationships have been restored between the two states. Tanzania. Joy as government abolishes charges on higher education loans. Higher education students now have a reason to smile after the government decided to scrap some of the nuisance charges on their education loans. Education, Science and Technology Minister Joyce Ndalichako said the government was implementing President Samia Tsuluhu Hassan's directive on higher education loans. Starting July 1st, she said the 6% charge in value retention to higher education loans beneficiaries will be scrapped. Cameroon Startup creates soil analysis kit for farming efficiency. Cameroon's agricultural sector employs the majority of the country's workers, but too many know too little about the soil, resulting in inefficient farming. To help Cameroon's farmers, a computer engineer created an electronic analysis kit to test soil quality and the suitability for crops. Technology startup Clinic Agro created a kit with a mobile application called Clinic Soul for instant soil testing. The kit was invented to help farmers who were losing money. Tanzania. Turning point is Tanzania's gold exports pass 3 billion US dollars mark. Tanzania's gold shipment hit 3 billion dollar mark for the first time as the price of precious metals increased in the world market. According to the Bank of Tanzania, the value of the exports of gold to 3.25 billion US dollars in the year ending March 31, 2021, compared with 2.3 billion US dollars recorded previously. Egypt, Mo Salah wins Athlete Advocate of the Year at the Laureus World Sports Award. Salah, the Egyptian who was honored with the Sporting Inspiration Award following his support for charitable causes and commitment to fighting social injustice during the last few years. He's active in the regeneration projects in Nagrig, his hometown, where the majority of the people there still live in poverty. Thank you so much for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tuna Cheki to watch the full news report and our website at tunacheki.tv for all of your latest African news updates. You can directly support this news series by becoming our YouTube member or even becoming a patron. And remember, Africa is watching. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips or topics about Africa that you'd like us to explore.